What's going on YouTube? My name's AJ. We're in the soon-to-be studio, so it's not ready yet. It just looks like a regular office building. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jordan 1 OG High Black Mochas. Some say that these shoes are the poor man Travis Scott's, if you want to put it like that. These shoes retailed at $170. The colorway on the box says Sale Black, Dark Mocha Black, and it comes in a generic black and red Nike box. The tissue is a standard white tissue paper. And it comes with one pair of extra laces, which is, looks like sale. It doesn't look like it's a white pair of laces. So I would say this is a sale extra pair of laces, which is almost like a cream, which matches the leather of the shoe. So first and foremost, I'm gonna say that I don't really like brown sneakers, but the premium materials in these really impressed me. And I don't usually like brown and black combining, but I do understand why Jordan Brand would make it due to the high success of the Travis Scott ones and everything else. It starts off where the tongue is a white color. The leather on the upper, there's a black hit. There's a sail hit, which is kind of like a cream white. And the midsole is actually like the color noted on the box, which looks like a darker cream. So there's levels to the colors on this shoe. And the outsole is a full rubber black outsole as you would be used to on a Jordan 1 with a black insole, typical black lining, and the Air Jordan logo on the brown upper. This brown upper is a soft suede. It's not necessarily what most would call buttery, but it feels really nice and the leather feels really premium and soft like a pillow when you first look at it uh, compared to you know some other just generic shoes. Toe box is also that cream color which is actually really dope. I think if the whole shoe was just white and then brown and then black it wouldn't have as much dimension but these shoes really pop off in person and I hope they pop off when you're looking at them in a picture or in this video too. So like I said earlier, these shoes feel really, really premium and they look even more premium in person. And they retail at $170. Thankfully, we got them at retail. I'm gonna put the StockX price right here just to see how much it is right now. And the moment of truth, is it worth it? So I styled these with a pair of shorts and just some plain Nike socks. It fits true to size and on feet, they look exceptional. Like It's really hard to get the Air Jordan 1 wrong when you're wearing it. You just gotta basically put, put them on and lace them up <laughs> and you're doing the right thing. And I did have a little bit of trouble when I was lacing it. One of the eyelets when I was lacing up the sneaker had the leather in the eyelet. So there wasn't a hole and I had to like kind of MacGyver a hole with it from the outside of the shoe. And other than that, I'm, I'm not really you know worried about that because you know the Nike quality control, as long as you're able to wear it, you could lace it up, it's still good to go. So I'm gonna be honest with everyone, I don't really have any cons for this shoe. I only have pros. So I think if there would be any con, it would be my general impressions when I first saw the picture of it. I didn't like it just because of my previous like opinion on brown and black mixing on shoes or even in clothing and things like that. But in person, it's really, really premium as far as the feel and the look. And I can't recommend it enough. If you were to buy it on the resale market, the price is here. So would I say that it's worth it to buy it at that price? I mean, if you really, really like this shoe, I would say buy it. What's cool about these shoes is that even though it's 300 plus dollars on StockX, it may or may not go up in value if you get it at $300 or $360. If say, for example, in a few years, almost like the SBs, you know, Air Jordan ones go down in value and then come back up. But all in all, they're a great colorway, which you could actually wear with a dark pair of jeans, a light pair of jeans, or even shorts. And they're definitely not like a lot of other Jordan colorways where you kind of have to plan out your fit color-wise to see like, oh, will this match or things like that. It's not anything wild like the J Balvin Jordan 1. Just something really easy to wear. And it's definitely an eye turner because people, you know, from first glance, if you look at it quick, it may look like the Travis Scott Jordan 1, but it really is just the Air Jordan Dark Mocha. So those are my thoughts on it. 
obviously in a day and age like today if you don't get shoes at retail it's kind of hard to get a shoe you want on the resale market without paying an arm and a leg so yeah my verdict is that these shoes are an overall good colorway they're not necessarily a classic colorway they're more based on hype lifestyle and what travis scott did with such a collaboration all the hype that generated like, i think these are really dope shoes they use some really dope premium quality materials. You could see in pictures and everything, but once you get them in hand, you could really feel it in person. And if you stood next to someone on the street and saw them wear these shoes, you could really tell that they use higher end materials and whether it be the leather or even the new book. Obviously you're not gonna get quality you would get in the Travis Scott shoe, but this is a more than better alternative to that. You know, this is just the, like the low key version if you don't wanna flex too hard or something like that. I wouldn't be scared wearing these out compared to like a Travis Scott, which causes all, all this ruckus. But in all seriousness, you know, just wear what you like. Uh, these are dope. These are definitely not gonna make you deactivate your Instagram like Travis Scott did because people said he looked like a cockroach. Don't worry, Travis, I didn't think he looked like that. But I will still rock these. So people think I rock your shoes. No, unfortunately this came out when the Travis Scott meals from McDonald's were discontinued. So unfortunately you cannot eat your Travis Scott meal with these shoes. And that's what's really cool about these shoes too. They're pretty low key, but at the same time, it also looks like the Travis Scott, you know, Air Jordan one. So a lot of people will be like, oh wow, is that the Travis Scott's? But then you're like, nah, it's just a dark mochas. And I guess some people, if they're like, you know, if they care about it, they would judge you based on like, it's not like people are gonna judge you because you have these shoes and not the Travis Scott ones. They may or may not be people that do that, but if they are, they're, mean people. I think these are dope and I would cop them. Leave a comment on what's your thoughts. What do you guys think about these shoes? Would you cop them? What do you think? Once again, my name's AJ. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and like it. See you guys. Peace.